Well, I like to play with boys and girls on football. It's just, like, with girls, there's too much rules. <laughs> like, there's no pushing, and then, like, they take it easy, so. I like to play rough sometimes. Like, girls, and, because sometimes they say boys are stronger than girls. It's not true. We can all be strong. And you're on the cheerleading squad. Yeah. Yes. I think now would be a nice time for a no. cheer. My name is Delilah. I'm 13 years old. I go to Mount Gleason Middle School. I'm in 8th grade. I live with my mom, my brother, and my grandma, and one dog. I have this one called Golden Heart Syndrome as an illness, and it's basically when I was little, my heart was flipped the wrong way. So I, they had to do open heart surgery for me to get better, and I was in the hospital for a while. She has uh, Hirschsprung's disease. Your intestines are not pinned down where they're supposed to be, and they twist, and um, she's missing muscles out of her intestine. So they had to do surgery and take a lot of that out. But because she had the heart surgery, they couldn't do it right away because she was weak. So she had to have a colostomy bag for a year. So I had to learn about that, which was very difficult. My son helped me a lot. It's a pretty big role that I really wasn't ready for when I was a little bit younger because we would fight a lot. And uh, over the years, we got closer. And I do a lot more stuff with her. I usually, sometimes I would pick her up from school when I was going to high school up there still. And uh, I just watched her a lot instead of going out. Some of the, some of my illnesses and diseases that I had, they were challenging and I had to fight through it. So that, that made me feel a lot stronger that I got through it. Do you spend a lot of time in hospitals? When I was little, I used to. I'm all strong and healthy. What did you used to think when you were young? That maybe I wouldn't be able to do the things I wanted to. Why? Because of all my illnesses and I used to think when I was little that I wasn't that strong enough to do it. How do you wake, do you just wake up every day thinking today I'm just, I'm not going to let it get me down? Yes. But how do you do that? Basically when I wake up I just like get dressed and get through it. Like, don't even think. When some of the things boys or girls say can hurt you, just don't let it get to you. She's very outgoing. She has a way of just, she just meets people and they're instantly her friends. She's really friendly. And she's always been that way ever since she was a baby. My friends are supportive of me. And sometimes they ask me about my, because they, sometimes they see that I have something wrong. So they'll ask me. I kind of get emotional about it, but then I still come out to them because they just want to know it's not like they're going to harm me or anything anyway. And they're, yeah, I get well loved by them. So I'm happy about all my friends I have. Yeah, I tell everyone everything. <laughs> you have no secrets? No. No secrets. What makes your mom special? Just her, her personality, and their, her being there with me. I was different than a lot of other girls, so maybe that what she's gone through with having me, I was a baby, and then me getting older, just falling in her footsteps were big. You love your mom a lot. Yeah. she your best friend? Yes. <laughs>
I love riding horses. Everything that you dream about is like freedom. Yeah. Butterflies are free, horses run wild. You dream of a happy place where you're just free to be the person that you want to be. One of my challenges is like, instead of being boy crazy, try to like focus on your work and school. Because I want to be a doctor when I get older. You do want to be a doctor. Yeah. What kind of doctor would you like to be? A plastic surgeon. My big sister's name is Michelle. I've been with her um, almost two years for big, in big Brothers and Big Sisters. I actually got the doctor inspiration from her because she wants to help so much people with it and then she's learned since I've been with her almost like two years, she's learned so much about my diseases and illnesses that it inspired her to be a doctor. The things I've gone through, I want to learn what it's about and then I want to go to UCLA so I can just learn and be a doctor when I get older and help people with their with their lives. Like the doctors help find. What would you like to see your sister accomplish? Just some of her dreams like become a singer. Oh, Doing you didn't tell us school. that. <laughs> oh, you did it? Can you sing for us? There's a fire starting in my heart Reaching a fever, pitching, bringing me out the dark Finally, I can see you crystal clear. Go ahead and sell me. Some people can be really mean about the things they say. Just don't take it too personal. You'll get through it. Don't underestimate the things that I will do. There's a fire starting in my heart. Reaching a fever, but you bringing me after dark.